joining us. I'm Stephen Romo. First at six, when loved ones go missing, seconds count. To work street reporter Kester McLaughlin takes us behind the scene of one search team that started last year and already has a huge list of victories. Stephen, bridging the gap is in its infancy, but has managed to reunite families with their loved ones en masse, all because of their secret weapon. We just noticed that there's between the family members and law enforcement and volunteers, that there's just a gap. The Bridging the Gap search team started in May when Ben Baber and Cody Perrick went missing from Rocklahoma. So we started with, there's about 15 to 20 core members and then our volunteer database right now is about 75, 80 people and we're always adding more people in. They do what law enforcement alone is unable to do. They've searched an area or they've cleared an area. Even whenever we come in and that's been done, we'll go back through and search that same area. That's why they've been able to find seven people since May. We had some instances where, you know, the outcome wasn't the best, but we've also had some where we've been able to pick up the phone, call the family members and say, hey, we got your brother, or we got your sister, we got your husband, wife, we got your loved one here, and I'm looking at him and he's alive. It's moments like those that keep the team going and growing. I mean, yes, we're gonna have unfortunate outcomes, but also, with those, we bring the family's closure and peace of mind of their loved one is, you know, is home one way or another. They couldn't do it without volunteers. The more boots that you're able to get on the ground, put a plane together, the more effective you are. But the secret to their success? Ben and Cody, they're, they got it back, said we where we go. They, they're up there in heaven, you know, shining down, smiling at us. It all comes down to one thing. These family are in desperate need of closure and needing an answer. And that's gratifying in knowing that they don't have to lay awake at night and uh, wonder what had happened. Just since May, Bridging the Gap has been on 28 rescue missions across Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, and Arkansas. Kessler McLaughlin, two works for you.